Annyeonghaseyo! Hey everyone, I'm Serendipity and let's play Enigma, an illusion named family. This is a Korean RPG horror game and it's one of my personal favorites. So let's jump into this, literally. <laughs> I am surrounded by the chilly sense of cold water and the darkness of unfathomable depth. I am... I am drowning in the sea. I try desperately to rise above. I try to kick off the water. I try swinging my arms. But nothing works. However I struggle and flutter my feet, however I reach out, the shimmering light keeps on getting farther away from me. When the last bubble of my breath left from me, I could finally understand everything. This is the end. The moment when I lost the will to live and my, when my consciousness was dissipating. Father's face slowly appeared in front of me. Father. That was the last time I saw my father. Ah, I often dream of the day my father died since the day it happened. I have not yet recovered from the incident. When I put aside the comforter with a heavy heart and looked around, I felt that something was strange. Mm? I have the habit of keeping the light of my room on while I sleep because I hate darkness. There's no reason that the room should be so dark unless somebody intentionally turned it off. I hate darkness. I feel dizzy in the dark. When I am in the darkness, I cannot distinguish upside from downside as if I am drowning in a deep, dark sea. That is why. It reminds me of that day. Anyway, I hate darkness. But it is too dark to find the switch. Is there anything that can be of help? I don't know. Let's feel the surroundings with my hands. Uh, that's not helping. Fumble inside my pocket. I could feel something inside my pocket. Obtain 20 matchsticks. Yes, you should. Let's do it. The smell of sulfur stimulated my senses with the sound of a flicker. The surroundings were getting slowly brighter. Just one matchstick seemed to be enough to lift this grave darkness around me. It made me feel comforted to see everything around me located where they always were. However, I could see a shadow that I was not familiar with. It was like... a figure of a human. Oh no. I came close to find out it was my mother. Mother was lying on the floor. Things are getting weirder every moment. I felt creepy dampness under my feet. I don't think that's water. I bent down and reached out to the moist floor, and then I smelled the unidentified liquid at the tip of my fingers. Nauseous odor and thick and wet texture, I could instinctively know what it was. It was... BLOOD! Oh my god! My chest heaved rapidly with heavy panting. My heart was racing too fast for me to breathe. The strength in my legs could not hold the weight of my body. I was thrown down on the floor. Yeah, I'm sure it's a dream. <laughs> I kept urging myself to believe that I'm not yet fully awake, but my hands were already moving towards the body of my mother. The touch at my fingertip was too clear to be a dream. I was feeling dreadful hunch and pulled up the body. The hand dropped helplessly down on the floor. Mother did not move at all. It snapped off my last feeble hope that it might not be real. Mother was dead. <laughs> The last line of senses broke away that I was managing to keep, and the floor rushed into my face. I wish everything is just a dream. I wish this was just a bad nightmare. I desperately wished to the last of my awareness, but I knew that it was irrevocably true. That as for me, bad feelings come true more often than hopeful expectations do.
Okay, now that we're done rocking out. <sighs> what happened? When I finally came to my senses, nothing in my surroundings changed, including the body of my mother. It was not a dream. A dead body without a drop of warmth left is lying in front of me. Mother. She was staring in the air without a blink as if she is blaming for something. Who could have done such a thing? She was leading a difficult life since the day my father died. She has no reason to be killed like this. Mother. At the moment I am swirling in the mixture of grief and desperation and horror. My head is too blank to figure out what I should do, but nothing can be solved if I stay here. I need help. I need to notify the others, that was for sure. I cannot stay here like this. Let's go to my older brother, Samoon. He's in the next room. And we're in control! What's this? A book is left in the floor? Shall I read it? Yeah, go ahead. Enigma. Looks like a game annual, but I don't think I've... Okay, so this is just going to tell us everything about the matchsticks dropping our fear because we're terrified of the dark. And if our fear goes all the way up, we will begin to wander around like a crazy person and have no control over Minhyuk at all. It also mentions candy bars will extend our life. Should we come to harm? Ugh, what? The door is locked. The door wouldn't budge however hard I pushed. What's happening in this darkness? I hate being left in the dark. I might go crazy unless I light up a matchstick. Huh? The keyhole is on the inside. What happened here? Anyway, I need a key. It's weird that everything's different to him in his own room. Mother, please stay here for just a minute. I mean, it's not like she's gonna go anywhere else. Perhaps would Mother have the key? Let's take a look at the pocket. Why on earth does she have this? Anyway, I can now go outside at least. She was sparkling, that's how you know she has it. We use the room key. Of course! We gotta get some out! The corridor is also dark. What on earth is happening here? Ugh, I have a bad feeling about it. Anyway, let's go to Samoon. Oh no. I think I heard something. I did too. It may be because I'm at the edge of my nerves, but I think I heard strange sound inside the room. Something similar to mincing up a meat with some tools. Ugh. Oh. I mean, we're obviously gonna open the door. Because that's that, that's exactly what you do when when you suspect something bad's going on. So, um, yeah. I must have misheard something. I have no time to lose. Oh, you have a lot of time to lose. Do not think ahead and turn the doorknob. When I opened the door, I could see nothing but the darkness. Is it blacked out in this room too? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the sharp pain on the head, I fell down onto the floor. <laughs> I cannot see who was standing in front of me. Oh my god, I've done that before and I did not remember that at all. <laughs> Jump up in front of you. But I was certain that it was trying to kill me. Help. Oh no. Oh no, I died. <laughs> it was so unexpected. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so that was the bad option. Uh, the death option. So uh, let's do the um, not as obvious answer. You know, who would ever choose the other one? Sound made me too curious to just pass by. I laid myself down on the floor and had a peek inside beneath the door. Inside the room was as dark as the corridor, but I could weakly feel the sound of the people inside. I could feel it! What? I could more clearly hear the sound I heard outside the door, and this time, I heard a thud sound as if something was falling on the floor. Same nauseating smell diffused out. Blood! Instinctive repulsion shot out from inside me. 
My instinct was crazily shooting out the signal of danger to all my nerves in my body. I was about to shriek instinctively, but I managed to cover my mouth in time. I did not need to open the door to find out what was going on inside. He's coming out! Run. Instinctively, I crawled back in my room and closed the door softly. I held back my trembling body and focused on the sound outside. <sighs> Fortunately, the footsteps were getting farther away. It must not have noticed me. I do not know who that is. There's somebody roaming inside the mansion and killing people. Who is that guy? And who is it that had just been killed? Could it be Samoon? I could not figure out what just happened, but one thing was clear. If I stumble across the guy, I'm dead. For sure. I need to look for others before it is too late. Or, you know, we could just run to the entrance and leave, then get help. No? Okay. Be nice if we could take a weapon. How about this lamp? This is nice lamp. We could just whack someone over the head with it. No? No? Okay. Okay. Let's just go. Huh? Locked? But it was just open! Uh, no big deal, you know. I'm sure he's fine in there. That's just a moon. He's got himself covered. You know, he was probably just smacking around the, the bad guy. And he's just walking around now. Matchsticks, lucky. Six matchsticks. Oh, look at we can hide. We're so cute. Oh! Oh, well, that's blocked. Oh, man. Oh! I'm gonna die. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Get away. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. No. Ugh, go away. Won't there be any- Oh my god. No, we have no time for this, Minhyuk. You should have just left that way. We're gonna- Oh my god, I'm gonna die already. Oh no, there's no hidey doos in your room. Oh, we're so screwed. So here's where I die. This is the end. Oh my god. I died. <sighs> okay. And I didn't save again. I'll be back again. What's in here? Ew, what is that thing? It looks weird. Statue is holding something in the hand. This is a picture? It is a family photo that we took recently, to be precise. Somebody must have torn it into pieces. Alrighty. Oh! oh! Good lord, what was that? <laughs> oh my god. As I picked up the picture, a certain flow image rushed into my head as if I was electrified. That was a scene I did not even want to talk about. Crap, why am I seeing such a- Calm down, you Minhyuk. You're just a little too tired, that's all. Ooh, a chocolate bar! It's craft work the mother collected. How come there are matchsticks here? Ooh. up here. Nothing. Nothing in there. Oh. <sighs> Tainted red ointment. Oh yes, and if you touch everything and it makes a weird sound like that, that can possibly draw the killer to your location. So we should not go around and touch everything. But I mean... Who doesn't want to touch everything? That's that's what I do in games. Just touch everything. I shouldn't have touched the piano. <laughs> Sparkle. What is this? What is it? It's pretty. There's a golden ornament in the middle of the chessboard. When I picked it up, my head started to take. Ouch. My head... Oh my god! Oh, back in time! 
요즘 몸은 좀 어때? 응? 어째 날이 갈수록 말라 보인다 너 아, 그러게 가끔은 밖에 나가서 산책도 좀 하고 그러는 게 어때? Ugh, don't bother me. I don't want to go outside. I just want to stay in all day and play video games. 아무리 집이 좋겠지만 그렇게 계속 집 안에만 있으면 I read books. Yeah, yeah. That's why I want to read books. 알았어. 조심할게. 이거 받아. 이게 뭐야? 그건 아버지의 유품이야. My father. 그걸 지니고 다니면서 아버지의 희생이 헛되지 않도록 항상 노력했으면 좋겠다. My father, I, th I thought they were the same father. 아버지가 no. 널 구하기 위해서 필사적이었던 건 너도 이 집안을 no, 이어갈 소중한 가족이었기 때문이야. 생전에 너에게 기대가 많으셨다는 거 알고 있. 언제까지나 과거에 매달려 있어서는 안 돼. 이제 그만 떨치고 일어나도록 해. 노력할게. 노력? 노력이라고? 지금 그걸 말이라고 하는 거냐? Oh, oh my god, why are you yelling? Come down. 노력이 아니라 반드시 그래야만 하는 거야. 집안이 이렇게 아수라장이 된게 누구 때문인지 <웃음> 벌써 잊어버렸냐? That's so mean. 형, 형, my heart. How could you say that? 너는 네 행동에 책임을 져야 돼. Oh my god, that's so sad. <웃음> 다음 학기부터 편입 시킬 테니까 그렇게 알고 준비나 해. I don't 이건 want. Dear it. boy. I thought you were being nice and then you're just so mean. Ugh, my head is cracking. With a headache that felt as if my skull was splitting in two halves, some kind of illusion flashed through my mind. I was not sure if it actually happened in the past, but I could recall that this ornament was a relic from my father. But I had no idea why the ornament, which I should have been carrying with me, was left here. I might have just lost it at some point. After a while, the headache subdued a little and I could move myself again. Obtained golden ornament. Who is that right now? I mean, follow it or don't follow it. There's a killer in the house, and you mentioned something about uh, dying if you ran into him. So let's follow it. I, I again, the most obvious answer to this is we're gonna follow it, of course. Let's go. We're gonna run blindly through the halls after this random person. Seeing that it's running away, it may not be the killer. Let's follow it and find out who it is. Who did it? Let's follow it and find out who it is. I carefully ran through the dark corridor and followed the shadow running ahead. Come back! <sighs> oh my god! Oh. It ran so well in this darkness. Dear God, I would have exercised every day if I knew this day would come. <sighs> Regrets. <laughs> the shadow in front of me was unexpectedly fast and disappeared into the darkness. But it could not have gone too far. The only places to go from here are the storage in Minwoo's room. Must be inside one of them. Must not be as smart as it is fast. What's it thinking running away to a dead end? However, it may mean that this is an outsider who does not know well about this mansion. That is. It could be the killer. I should be more careful in checking it out. Maybe we should have thought about that before. But no! We're brave! We're going right into the thick of it! Fred ointment. What's in here? A screwdriver. May come in handy at some point. Yeah, you know, like for driving it into the killer's head. But of course, we're not gonna use it like that, right? We're gonna use it for some re to unscrew Where screws. Yep. Yuna? Mm -hmm. It was Yuna who was hiding in the corner of the storage room. She was crouching against the wall, shaking her body just like a poor animal driven into the corner. She was holding up a candlestick in her hand as if to protect herself, and the sharp edge of the candlestick was glistening within the darkness. Minyogi. Yes, put that down. Yuna is my sister who is one year younger than me, but she does not treat me as an elder at all. 
She seemed to consider me as a rival because she was too proud of herself. I did not really care, but Yuna always spoke to me curtly when I was around her. Anyway, I was so happy to see somebody alive. I slowly approached Yuna. Calm down, I just... Uh, got Yuna shouted out shrilly, holding up the candlestick higher. You see, she has a weapon. She has a candlestick. Come on, Minhyuk, you can do better than this. Although she was holding it unstably, the candlestick still looked quite dangerous. I stopped there lest somebody might get hurt. I looked at my shirt and found out that it was dotted with blood. It must have been stained when I first found Mother. I recalled the image of mud, mud, Mother's dead body. Mother's dead body. Oh god, now I'm doing it. Mother's dead body, which I have not been thinking of for a while. For a while. <laughs> this is not the time to be lost in despair. I might be accused of mother's killer if I do not explain it well to Yuna. I didn't do it! What are you talking about? Yuna did not trust my words at all. How come did all this happen? How come? Mother is killed, I am chased by a killer, and my own family is accusing me of homicide. How come? <laughs> It has been an endless series of dull and unchanging life till I went to bed last night. Omonika,どうだかしょっそ。もう？내방에쓰러져계신걸발견했어。거짓말。내가발견했을땐이미아마살해당하신것같아바닥에피가장난아니었어처음발견했을때너무놀라서넘어졌는데그럴리가없어아
Come to think of it, it occurs to me that Mom was going to install a new security system that her acquaintance recommended. I assumed that it would be just a simple alarm system and did not think much of it, but it turns out to be such an absurd device that blocks all the exits out of the mansion. Yeah, not a very good security system. We're stuck in here with a murderer. The activation of the security system, the subsequent blackout, and the presence of a killer? The timing is too precise to be considered as a simple coincidence. About brothers, where's my Hyungs? Good idea. Bro, where are you? By the way, killer, I'm right here, come stab me. Nice thinking. Ah, 그렇지. You know, looks at me as if I'm a fool. I should stop saying something silly. Yes, you should, Minhyuk. You should stop. But she calls me crazy? That's too harsh. Oh, you hurt his feelings. Where's she have been? Where you been at? She may well be so frightened out of her wits, I just jumped out behind her. I have no other option! I have to give up! I'm sorry, Yuna! I can't do it anymore! I just can't talk to you! I give up! I give up! <laughs> Yuna's shoulder started to shake feebly. It's been a long time since I saw her crying when we were little. It's not appropriate to think about this, but she seems a little bit cute now, as she looks like an ordinary girl in difficulty. I was not sure what I could say to soothe her, so I came close to comfort her. As I stepped up, Yuna swung the candlestick aiming at my throat. It barely stopped in the air. The gap was just paper thin, so if somebody might have seen it, it could have looked as if it were a scene from a martial art film. Of course, it's not because Yuna could wield the weapon like a sword master, but just because she swung it without any consideration that the scene was made. She has never learned any martial arts before. If I had taken just a half step closer, Yuna could have stabbed me against her intention. A cold chill passed through my spine when I realized that. She seemed to be frightened too much to think straight. She was protecting herself instinctively. She was so extremely cautious against me that I almost felt as if she simply wanted me to be the killer. How can I resolve this misunderstanding? Let's go back a step anyway now. As I stepped back a few steps, she seemed a little comforted, but her watchful eyes were fixated on me. We cannot prolong the confrontation of meaningless misunderstanding for too long. It is certain that the storage room will not stay safe forever as well. Yuna started to talk as if she recalled something. I have never heard of a backup power supply or a medallion. If Minho knew that, why did he not tell the family about it before? Anyway, if Yuna is correct, it might be unexpectedly simple to get out of here. We only need to locate the medallions. Or I might be able to stab you in the back. Whoa. 
그 메달이 필요하... 그렇겠지 그럼 결정된 거네? 그럼 그 메달들 어디 있는지 혹시 알아? 글쎄 그러고 보니 전에 안방에서 본것 같아 안방... 어쩌면 내게 네 전부 거기에 있을지도 몰라 그럼 좋겠지만 It was not reliable information, but it would be worthy to check out there. I can do nothing but to grasp at every straw I see. I am at least grateful that I now know a way to get out of this place. The sitting room is just beneath this storage room, so it won't be a long trip to get there. Alright then, I will leave this episode off here, and we will continue down to the sitting room in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one! Yeah. See you.